one week later and I thought the water would be dried up. And it's actually worse. I have no idea where that water is coming from. All the snow was pretty well melted last time. I suppose with a big rainstorm, there's nowhere for any of it to go. Wow. And once again, I was going to get rid of that oak tree and cut that down. I guess I'm going to have to wait on that. I know that's in the sun, but ooh, it sure feels like it's pretty accurate. I brought this old mower up. It doesn't look like much. It's about 20 years old, but I just got it tuned up. She runs good. Figured it'd be a good addition to the off-grid camp. Welcome to this week's episode of Swamp People. You know, the one thing I don't understand is people who drive through the mud just to get their rigs all dirty and call it going mudding. I just, I'll never understand that. Getting your stuff all filthy just so you gotta go, squirrels over there, squirrels over there, over there, over there, over there. Over there! No, right over there! Over there! There you go. Just so you have to go clean your rig again. I just, I'll never understand it. Anyway. <laughs> Well, if you guys are done playing in the mud, let's get that stove installed. I suppose I better get it one more revolution or it's going to be facing the wrong way. Just for fun, let's see if this stove even works. Alright, so I'm ready to try this. I'm ready to turn the gas on. The one thing I read in the directions was that the pilot for the oven is actually down here in the broiler. And I'm not, I think I know where it's at, but I'm not exactly sure. And I'm not exactly sure where I'm supposed to light the pilot. I'm guessing up in here. But the first thing I'm going to do is turn the gas on and then use this gas leak checker to check for any gas that's coming out in any of my seams in any parts of the, in any uh, orifices in the stove. And then I'll probably go back and hit the seams with some soapy water just to make sure. But um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous about this part. Not turning the gas on per se, but just lighting it and blowing myself up. Got gas, that's good. Open that up, okay. So far so good. My one concern is, can I turn the top ones on without having the oven burner lit? Or do I need to have that pilot lit too? Oh, I hear gas. So there's gonna be air in there. So that's... Whoa, okay. That's that. Okay, so do we not have a... Oh, there's the pilot down there. My understanding is you have to... Let me see if there's gas coming out there before I... Yep, there's gas coming out there. So we have green, so there's no presence of gas in the stove. I checked way back by the pilot as well. I'm gonna turn the gas on and I'm gonna try to light that oven pilot right away before the oven, the broiler compartment fills up with gas, and then I will come back and light the top pilots. Um, even when all of the knobs were off, I could still hear gas coming through that, that broiler area. So I really need to check that out and find out um, what that's all about. Anyway. All right, I'm gonna go turn the gas on. Wish me luck, where's my lighter? Let's see if we can do this fast. 
Okay, so it's lit. That was spooky. I ain't gonna lie. So I did the oven first. Let's see if we can get the burners to light now. All right, come on. Green light, all right. Okay, no gas, no gas. Oh, we got a little gas. Do we though? Yes, we do. Why? What are we doing down here? Okay, we're looking solid down here. Oh, they work. Front burner works. Rear burner works. All right. that all right we have an oven okay so the important thing to know is if the gas is on it's coming through the burners a couple videos ago I showcased this Bouge RV car refrigerator freezer and I just wanted to share a little bit of how I've been using this just because I I'm really happy with it as you can see it's currently uh, 37 degrees in the refrigerator and I have it running off of my just 12 volt deep cycle solar battery. But the interesting thing is it's running right off of solar and it's not even taking the battery down at all. I'm still, uh, yeah, I'm doing really well bringing in uh, solar. So I'm gonna keep watching this through the night and as the sun goes down, I'll switch over to the Blue Eddy and that will run me for two days without depleting that. So I'm really happy being able to have a fridge that I can bring in and out of the car. There's not a ton of room in it, but for my purposes, it's been working really nice. Well, it looks like our intermittent creek is running down to the lake. Not running very fast though, for all that water up there. Well, I got these stakes on the clearance bin. Rivy. Oh, so hopefully they're not uh, like spoiled or something. They were like, sell now or throw them away. So we'll see. Ah. 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 What you got? You got a swamp squirrel? I don't think he's up there anymore. Oh, there he goes, way over there. It's probably about nine o'clock. It's just starting to get dark. River and I are done eating. And I promised you guys that I would put videos out more often. So I'm just finishing up last week's video. Hopefully I can push that out tonight. Tonight is Friday, the fishing opener in Minnesota. But anyway, thanks for hanging out today. I'm glad we didn't blow up with the uh, little stove fiasco, but uh, it all turned out. Tomorrow I'm gonna get the iron pipe. We're gonna finish that up once and for all. So tomorrow, uh, we have to drive down to Duluth 
and move my son from his college apartment into a different apartment for the summer and for next year. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me and uh, I'll call it a night. So good night all, we'll see you tomorrow. It's shaping up to be a beautiful day at the swamp. I don't know if you can see, but there's a beaver swimming over there I can see his little head popped up. Speaking of little heads popped up, who was that in the truck? River and I have just been hanging out today. Not really doing anything too productive. Went for a little hike, explored some new country, looking for some mushrooms, uh, did a little fishing, didn't catch anything. And now we're just getting some lunch cooked up. A couple of burgers on the grill. Took a couple of spins through the swamp with the four-wheeler just for fun. That's why it's all muddy now. But I don't know what we're gonna do today. There's a couple of trim pieces I need to put up on two windows. So we'll probably knock that out and then the trim is done. And then the only thing left to finish in the shack is uh, the cabinets and the countertop and sink, whatnot. And then the shack, and then, uh, then we gotta screen the porch and move on to summer projects. My raspberries are all leafing out. I'm excited about that. What I put like four of them in there last year and they've multiplied this much already. And the blueberries, and you got a little, little baby leaves and some buds on them. So they made it through the winter. That's good, I'm excited about that. So this is where I'm gonna plant some tomatoes and peppers. And then hopefully I would like to add a couple more raised beds here. I'm gonna take these trees out, probably this birch tree out try to level this a little bit and I'm either going to put more raised beds here or I'm not sure what I'm going to do maybe a trellis I haven't decided yet still up for debate all right well I better check on those burgers we'll catch you guys in a little bit I've got two last windows to trim out and I've been putting it off putting it off putting it off well I'm finally going to do it and get it done Two more boards and we're all done. Looks like somebody has taken over my bed. Somebody has taken over my bed. How come you're not in River's bed, huh? Oh, well. It's a tired dogger today, aren't you? You had a big day. You got to see, you got to see Hunter, you got to see Annika. You got to go in the truck. You got to go for a nice walk. You're pushed. I'm tired. Well, once again, it's that time again. I didn't do a lot of filming today just because River and I were kind of messing around and having fun and just doing guy stuff for the most part. But uh, we did get a few things accomplished this, this trip up. We got that gas stove working. We got that outside light put in and wired. 
We got a little bit more trim down on the windows and just one more board short and then I'm gonna be all done with that project. So hopefully next time I come up, we can look at this cabinet mess. So goodbye, little cabin. Goodbye, everyone. We will see you soon. Thank you.